Hello, this is Meme Analysis, and today I thought I would try to give a look into the concept of memes as a whole, and their relation to the unconscious mind. I actually found the quote that I'm going to be reading uh, from my good friend Elliot Rosenstock's book. It is Zizek in the Clinic. Uh, in it, he uses a lot of Zizek and Lacan, and one of the Lacan quotes struck me so strongly, I realized just how, how meaningful it was, especially in the realm of memes. So I'm going to share it with you. Seminar 7 by Jacques Lacan Is it surprising that an underground cavern was chosen? Such a site only creates obstacles to the viewing that one assumes is presupposed by the creation and observation of the striking images which decorate the walls. The production of images and their viewing could not have been easy given the forms of lighting available to primitive men. Yet, in the beginning, those paintings that we take to be the earliest productions of primitive art were thrown up on the walls of a cavern. One could call them tests in both senses of the word, subjective and objective. Tests, no doubt for the artist, for, as you know, these images are often painted over each other. It's as if, in a consecrated spot, it represented, for each subject capable of undertaking such an exercise, the opportunity to draw or project afresh what he needed to bear witness to, and to do so, moreover, what had already been done before. To connect another important point to the concept of meme as something that needs to be projected, um, I realized one of the important traits that leads a piece of media or a piece of reality onto the path of memes, it's repetition in the Freudian sense. The death drive is the repetitive drive. It is what makes us continuously and compulsively repeat failures, ticks, statements, behaviors, and so on. It is the self-looping repetition. And I realized this in the context specifically of the Joe Rogan meme, hey man, that's cool, but have you ever done DMT? And I was thinking, you know, how did this become a meme? And I realized it is because Rogan has said something similar so frequently that people made it something that is going to be repeated again and again. It began as a sort of personal, death-driven repetition. A repeated phrase that was, in some ways, comfortable. The way that I do with characteristic, typical aspects, so on. I have a billion crutch phrases that I'm sure annoy you, or will annoy you if you keep watching me. But those are kind of personal memes, personal archetypal recreations through language. They occur in images, languages, behaviors, and so on. The meme is not just one thing. A meme or an archetype or a symbol is capable of transgressing all of those mediums. It is simply repetition itself. And I think that is one of the important facets of a meme. Repetition. Remember, memes matter.